Hello Android users, today I'm going to show you how to install the Android 4.2G apps on an Android 4.1 device. This is for people running CyanogenMod Mod 10 and Android Open Kang project. Here in the XDA forum, you can check it all out for yourself. This first link here will be the flashable.zip file, the gapps file. It's quite large at 171.89 megabytes. It'll take a little while to flash and download. You better check out this link here. There's lots of individual flashes like the launcher and the wallet and then individual parts of the gapps, pictures, custom everything. Just really check it out. It's pretty neat. Uh, one of the new features, I'll run them down for you before I show you how to install it here is uh, the new swipe keyboard. So you can just hold it down and it gives you a little preview of the word you're making and ta-da! Pretty schmancy, not bad. Uh, next up, a little clock. A little update for the clock, set your alarms. Very clocky. A little stopwatch, make it run laps for you. There you go. And a little countdown timer, that's pretty handy. Blast off. And it tells you how many seconds you've gone over, too, which is pretty neat. And there's a new play music. It's very nice, actually. Let you kind of swipe through. Excellent stuff. Gmail finally lets you pinch to zoom. Got to have this on any mobile device. Now you got the talk, your voice search, Google Now. A really fun feature is Street View finally works. Let's test it out. The Google Maps seems to be running nice and swift. Street View is always the real test, though. All right, let's Street View it. Mm, taking your time there. Okay. Well, it looks good. A little bit of a load time. Okay, let's see if we can move a little further down. Whoa, warp speed, Captain. Looks pretty good. There we go. That's a little more normal-ish. Maybe some teething issues, but it looks pretty good so far. Oh, there's a new calendar for you to check out. A little more tuned up. And the maps we've had a look at, and the navigation. Now, I don't have uh, the Google locational stuff set in right now, so I won't be able to do it. Uh, but there's lots of cool features there. Anyways, let me show you how to install it. Lots more stuff there in the thread. Now, once you've already downloaded it, the flashable zip file, to your device, you're going to need to reboot. On my HP touchpad, I reboot by hitting the power button, and I click reboot. It could be different for you. But we're all going to need to reboot into our recovery. Twerp or Clockwork Mod work just fine. It's kind of a large file too. It might take a little time to uh, flash, like if you flash GF's packages before. But there's a lot of stuff in there, a lot of great stuff to check out. For me, I toggle my volume button to select through. I'm going to go through Clockwork Mod. Now, I'd really highly recommend you make a Nandroid backup before doing this. Now, man, Nandroid backup is a complete system image. Everything will be backed up for you perfectly. Uh, your saves, your apps, everything, even your desktop. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that even before we install. You'll just go to Backup and Restore. And you'll click Backup. And as soon as you click Backup, it'll take some time. You'll commit to it. So make sure you have a good charge before you do this. But it's really handy to have. Once you have them created, all you do is go to Restore. Here you can see I've got one for CyanogenMod Mod 10, Cyanogen Mod 9. I make one for everything. Very handy. And you just click them to restore. Now on to the installation. We'll just go to Install Zip from SD Card. Choose Zip from SD Card. And we'll navigate to the package we just downloaded. In this case, it's 4.2 gapps and extra sign.zip. Yes, install 4.2 gapps extra sign zip dot zip. There we go. Now this can take a little while. Big thank you to for Garner. Uh, this is just great to have. He's an XDA developer. Go thank him in the thread there. This is his work. Gotta say I love the touch of the messages. Good work with that. Keep me entertained while I'm waiting. 
Smart thinking. Check out my video in the description below for how to make an Android backup. I'd highly recommend making an Android backup if you need to see it again. Got it in twerp and clockwork mod in the video. It's a very easy thing to do. Always do it. I'm not joking. Anything goes wrong, instantaneously back to the way you had it. Everything perfect. Highly, highly recommend it. You've got an HP touchpad and you want to learn how to install JC Sullen's latest Cyanogen Mod 10 ROM. Check the link below. i got a video on that. Great stuff. Big thank you to him as well. This is any Android 4.1 devices requirement. I could say I've tried it on Android 4.0 devices uh, and it's screwed up the Play Store, so beware of that. If you want to try it on an earlier Android device, I'd try the individual zip flashes, uh, but I'd definitely make an Android backup before doing that. And I wouldn't recommend doing that on an older device, but I know people are going to do it no matter what, so I'm just giving you the best warning I can. Anytime now. There we go, fixing permissions, unmounting, we're almost done. And there you have it. Now that we're done the installation, we want to go back. And we're going to reboot our system now. And as soon as we reboot, all our new gapps packages will be right there. They'll be in our... Oh, I've added them to my desktop, though. So you'll have to look for them. They'll be in your app drawer by default. Or you can create links to them. Here's the new Cyanogen Mod 10 boot animation. Very nice, guys. Please subscribe to see more updates, Android install tutorials in the future. Here we are. And by default, check your app drawer for your apps. So they'll all be there waiting for you to try out. Have fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy flashing.